up YouTube Mike here from Techno GI and today I wanted to do part two of my seven part video series about editing and uploading movies on YouTube from my iPad Pro so the first one I covered was iMovie and now I want to move kind of along the lines of what I do for my workflow when I create content and the next one is called splice now what splice is it's a full video editing app it's actually owned by GoPro but it, it's a free app and I use this more as a polishing app. I'll do the majority of my heavy video editing on uh, uh, excuse me, on iMovie for the iPad. But with Splice, the reason I use this is it's got a really large selection of music and it's copyrighted music, but it's licensed. So if you use it and you create a video with the Splice app, then you're free to use it on YouTube and monetize. You just can't use it for commercial use but it's there it's a great selection so let's get started now all right so obviously the first step in order to use splice is to actually open it and this is what the app looks like i'll open this and like i said i use this more as a polishing app so uh, i'm going to open up a project that i already started just to kind of show you and like i said this is kind of this is what the interface looks like this is owned by gopro as you can see you've got uh here on the bottom uh, outro on or off. Obviously I turn it off, but you can leave it on and that gives a little outro for GoPro. I'm trying to remember if I had to pay a little bit to get rid of a, um, a watermark from GoPro. I honestly don't remember. Um, if I did, it was only like a dollar or two, but like I said, the reason I use this one is for audio and I want to show you why because the audio selection on here, there's just a ton of options. So if you hit add down here on the left, you can see all the music. These are all the different categories. And within these, um, there are tons of songs. And of course, the um, I guess one of the catches is you've got to actually have an internet connection to download the music. There's no way to just save them all to your device. But I'll just show you, for example, I don't know if this will pick up because I've got a microphone plugged in. But it has to download it, but it'll let you preview them all. And then when you get the one you want, you just click on it. So. Let's see if this will actually buffer or not. Yeah, so don't know if you can hear that. But there's actually some really good music, and like I said, it's all copyrighted music, but it's licensed, as in if you got this app, uh, it, you're able to use this music in your YouTube videos. So um, the app tells you, hey, if you get a, a notification saying it's copyright violation, contact them, they'll take care of it, and just dispute the violation. Um, and it also gives you the sound effects you can use, and there's a ton of them. So, um, like I said, this is more of a polishing app, so if you want to add uh, different stuff, applause, um, backgrounds, you name it. I mean, you can see all the different choices for audio, and then you can even import stuff from your iTunes music library, as you can see on the top right. So, we'll cancel this. Like I said, this is why I use this app. As you can see, I create my movie or video within iMovie and then I move it over to here and this is where I added my music you can see uh, Primal Instincts, Zero F's Given all these different uh, songs you can add and um, the app's pretty user friendly so um, I guess I could use it for some of my uh, video editing but I, I find that for doing the majority of my video editing I like to use iTunes but anyways this is just a quick look at Primal I'll show you kind of what your video options are so if you want to add your transitions you just click anywhere in here yeah so you click something that gives you the plus sign on the left and right and you can edit duplicate delete or if you want to add another video or add a transition you click on the plus sign now as far as editing video in this app it's fairly limited um, you can do some enhancements as you can see here's where you would trim it and you've got where you can add different um, I guess tones to it so you got warming blue noir uh, let me advance this so I can show you but you can click on these different effects down here on the bottom and there's quite a few to choose from sounds like there's some helicopter taxiing in so I apologize for that then you can boost the speed if you want this is where you want it if you want to add text and there's a fair amount of choices so you can click on that and uh, tap it to add text test steam and you're done I don't know, yeah, it doesn't look like it gives me an option to move the text around, but you can still 
uh, do it if you so choose. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you can move it anywhere you want. So this would be a good program also if you want to use add um, text to your stuff. And then this is uh, where you can adjust the size of the picture. So if you want to uh, adjust stuff, crop it, um, and so forth and so on. So and there's obviously you can boost the audio, fade it in and out. But that's a, a quick look at Splice. Like I said, I use it because of the awesome audio selection that you get. Like I said, there is tons of music to choose from on here. So again, this was a free app. I think I might have had to pay a dollar or two to remove the watermark. But um, other than that, hopefully this guy's, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Like I said, if you want to add music sound effects to your videos, this is a perfect app. So as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed part two. And uh, if you want to see part three, go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up.